Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9, the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Shay bought four packs of markers for $6 each, a box of colored chalk for $11, total cost of markers and chalk. All right, so let's get out our graph draw feature, expand it out using those diagonal arrows in the top right, increase our transparency so we can see the problem behind there. We can draw all over this. So four packs of markers. All right, you know what? I'm just going to draw that. So here are my four packs of markers, $6 each. All right. And then a box of colored chalk. I'm going to make that a different color just so we can kind of differentiate the two. Here's a box of colored chalk. It's 11 bucks. So what is the total cost of the markers and the chalk that Shay bought? Well, that seems pretty straightforward. Watch this. I'm going to draw a strip diagram that kind of represents this. So here is my total, right? That's what I need. My missing is the total. And let's see. We're going to get something like this. Try to make them proportional. So I've got six bucks six bucks, six bucks, six bucks. There's my four packs of markers. And then I've got a box of colored chalk. So I've got some options, right? I could just add six plus six plus six plus six plus 11, or watch this equation. So I'm going to make this unknown. I'm going to, you can either do this, six plus six plus six plus six plus eleven equals your unknown you know what take a look at this how many of these sixes do i have one two three four so i think an easier way to do it would be to look at these four as a group right so four groups of six Right? That's what I have, four groups of six. And then I've got the 11 left over. All right, so let's, we could do it either way, but I kind of like this bottom one because this is a multiplication fact, right? 24. Four times six is 24. So that's going to be 24 and then plus 11. Now, I don't even need to regroup. I could add that side to side if I need to. That's 35. All right, so I'm thinking it's A. Let's just see where these other ones come from. Okay, 17. All right, I see where 17 is coming from. Look at this. You take your 6, and you add it to 11. The problem is, is this only counts one pack of markers. There's actually four packs of markers. So this took the one pack of markers, and this took the box of colored chalk, and just added those two together. Okay? So then you've got this 50. Now, how are we getting 50? And then 68 is even more than that. So we've got to be multiplying something, but I'm not exactly sure what we're multiplying here. Or maybe we're doing the, oh, I see what we're doing here. Watch this. This is doing the six, or this is doing the four groups. Excuse me, watch this. This is so messed up. Four packs of but then it's saying the 11. Four packs of 11, and then adding the six bucks. So that's just doing it backwards. Uh, it's four packs of six plus 11, not four packs of 11 plus six. Not sure where the 68 is coming from. You could figure that out on your own. Doesn't matter, because our answer here is A.